Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah? I'm doing okay. It's a bit crazy, but I'm doing okay. What part's crazy? Uh, this, this whole uh, media thing going on, uh, the leak of uh, uh, some information regarding uh, an apology. Let, let me ask you about the apology. What, why does that matter to you? Uh, I think it, it restores a little bit my uh, reputation here in Canada. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing for me. Like I, I never uh, was angry or upset about what happened, but it's, it's been hard, you know, finding jobs or going to school and stuff with uh, my past reputation. So this is gonna help me move forward a bit easier. Do you think it will make people forget though what you did? No, not forget, um, but maybe uh, it would help people uh, think that maybe there's more uh, to what happened and maybe look more into it and understand more about what happened. You say it's, it's, been, it's been hard because of your reputation. Can you give me an example? Like what? the kind of thing that's happened or couple the way people view you? Well, a couple of times I uh, apply for a job and people say oh yes yes and then they come back and they don't want to do it for no good reason. Sometimes they say you know uh, people are not comfortable with uh, your past and I understand uh, people's livelihoods uh, but I would uh, like to be able to move forward without having that. Uh, what do you say to them because I remember when you did your press conference um, you know a couple of years back now, right? And you said, I hope people give me a chance. So what do you say to the people who are still, they still don't, they still don't, they still don't believe you or they still don't want to give you a chance? They do give me a chance. Like, I haven't had any bad experience with anybody, uh, but I understand like certain businesses, they have a reputation to hold and uh, I can't expect everybody to offer me everything uh, if it's going to endanger them. So it's understandable, but I think it would make it easier for them with this apology to like, hire me or consider hiring me. Have you ever thought about changing your name? No, it's, I have the same face, it doesn't really matter. What about the reports of a large amount of money? Uh, I can't talk about that. Uh, I can't say uh, anything about that um, one way or the other. Uh, it's, it's a part of the agreement that I don't talk about these things. What do you say to people who say you don't deserve the money? I said we don't know anything about the money um, and I can't say if there is or there isn't. Um, like for me this is, this is not a time for celebration, this is a time for reconciliation, remembrance, healing um, and I, I really hope that uh, the talk about of so settlement or the apology does not cause people pain, and if it does, you know, you know, I'm really sorry for for that pain. I don't. Are you talking about the Spears family, who already yes. says, who's already out there publicly saying you don't deserve money, or they should, they should have the money if there is money. Uh, I said I'm I'm really sorry for their pain. This is not uh, my intention. Um, so this is a time for you know reconciliation and hopefully, not forgetting, but you know moving on and healing. Do you, do you have an understanding of how divisive you are in Canada, of how people have, you know, they, there are some people who think you're a child soldier, there are some people who think you're a terrorist. Do you, do you get that? I do. I do. People, you know, we live in Canada, it's a free country. People are entitled, you know, to make their own opinions, um, to voice their own opinions. But what do you say to them about that, either of those qualifications? I said, I'm not there to change people's opinions. Uh, I am who I am. All I ask is for them uh, to form an informed, uh, to make an informed opinion about me. Uh, it's easy to just believe what's said about me, but you know, take the time, get to know me personally. And then whatever you choose, whatever opinion you want to make of me, you know, I will respect that. Do you have contact with your family? A little bit, yes, I do. And what's that contact like? Because I would imagine you're pretty different, are you now? Uh, I am. Uh, I am very different. It's 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 tough sometimes, but uh, it's families, you know. But you feel it's important to to remain in contact to keep them. Of course. In your life. Yeah. You know, they say you choose your friends, you don't choose your family, and you know sometimes uh, 
maybe it's my responsibility to have good influence on them uh, because everybody's worried that they're going to have a bad influence on me but uh, maybe that's my contribution is you know, to have the positive influence on them. Do you, when you think about the teenager you were mm -hmm. when all this happened and I know you have um, I know your, your memories aren't great from that period what, mm -hmm. does it feel like a different person? Do you remember being that person doing those things? I do. Uh, the thing is, when you're young, you don't think about the morality of what you're doing or wh why you're doing it. Uh, when you grow up in an environment where these things are normal, you just do them. You don't, as I said, you don't think about the morality. You don't think about the rights and the wrongs. You just do whatever everybody else around you is doing. So I am a different person, uh, but I think being a, uh, the young person that I was, I could have easily been influenced with any uh, surrounding I was in. Uh, so it's just unfortunate that I was in this particular area. And you're not angry about that part? That you were put in that position? Being angry is not going to change anything. No, but still. Uh, years passed, like as I said, if anger could bring back lost years and experiences maybe but it doesn't bring back anything right now I'm just trying to focus on the future and trying to focus on things that uh, I can have influence and change but do you feel you deserve an apology and or money I don't think it's a matter of deserving uh, sometimes it's it's the thing that we can do to better the chances for a lot of people to heal and to be able to move forward. Who, who are you now? What kind of guy are you? What do you like to do? Um, I'm a student. I'm hoping to go into nursing in September. Why nursing? Well, I always knew I wanted to do something in the medical field. Um, I started paramedicine. That didn't work very well. Uh, so I'm looking into paramedicine. I want to be able to interact with people, uh, to help people. To feel that, like, I don't, I don't want to feel that I'm a burden and I don't want to feel that uh, people have to help me or that I'm living on people's shoulders. I want to be able to say, you know, I can be somebody on my own. Uh, I can educate myself. I can, you know, find a job, provide something, be somebody, not because of my past, but because of what I choose right now. What kind of things do you like to do? Uh, I'm an outdoorsy type of guy. I like biking. And I do, when I was in Edmonton, I did a lot of volunteering. Uh, that keeps me busy. And I said, I, I like helping people as much as I can. I, the one thing I was wondering when I, well, the one thing I've been wondering for a long time, because I've been doing stories about you for a long time, do you sleep okay? Do you sleep? Do you have stuff still that's happening in there? Um, I do sleep. I do get nightmares. Um, I think the, the hardest part right now is just being overwhelmed. And uh, like being in prison, I've taught myself not to feel and to kind of just suppress my feelings. And when there's too many things uh, that are hard or too emotional, I suppress it and I, that kind of causes me to lose, lose sleep or I'm always trying to distract myself from feeling. I, I won't keep you too much longer. What do you say to Canadians who, who just who don't believe that you're a good guy? Who just don't believe that you could change like this? Uh, first, they're entitled to have their opinion. Um, I have like no ill feelings for anybody who doesn't like me or doesn't think well of me. I tell them it's uh, a thing I would tell them it's it's easy to make a conclusion about somebody without knowing them but you know uh, Canada is is an intelligent country people in Canada are intelligent people uh, don't we never took the easy way out in anything we always took the right way out so 
do the right thing, take the time, uh, build, make an informed decision, and then, you know, I respect your opinion in whatever okay. it is.